Hello, happy people. This is Athena Starseed, and I just got a brand new tarot deck here at the Mystic Journey. And I've been kind of eyeballing this for the last week and a half, and they were sold out. So they finally came in today, and I got it. This is a deck by the Light Seer Tarot, Chris Ann. And I'm going to open it right here in front of you. Look at this. Oh, so exciting. So before I initiate a deck, I always like to hold the deck in my hands and say a prayer. So join me. Inhale. And exhale. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men and women. May light return to earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men and women. May the Christ consciousness return to earth in the center where the will of God is known. Let the center guide the little will of men and women, the center which the masters know and serve. And may it seal the door where darkness, doubt, disease, and duality dwell. May the plan of love, light, and power restore heaven on earth. Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Muriel, Rabio, Father Scott, Mother Earth, from the point of light that connects both of us, please be here in the sacred circle of light. Allow me to be a clear channel for anyone who's watching this video right now. Here we go. Out. Oh my goodness. Here we go. All right. Oh, it's just, it's so magnificent. All right. So this is the first shuffle of this deck. 2023. This is my first brand new deck for this year. So here we go. We're going to do a reading right now for you. If you just popped onto this channel, here's the reading for the day. So I'm going to shuffle around and around and where she goes, where she stops. Nobody knows, but that just fell out. Round and round and round she goes, where she stops. Nobody knows. Three, two, one. Okay. So I'm going to keep this card over here for just a moment. And then I'm going to pick the age of my daughter, which is 12. So one, two, three, four, five. And this is just about what do we need to know in this moment right here, right now, for today. 12. <gasps> the Judgment Card. Now look at this art. This is such a beautiful, gorgeous card. And so this is a 78 card deck, which means there is a minor arcana, which is the day-to-day -day messages. And then there's a major arcana. The major arcana is usually the 22 cards, the fool to zero all the way to the world. And those are like the major archetype lessons. Um, this is a major arcana card, which is judgment, which is like card 20. So that's the first one we're gonna look up. And this is our brand new little book here. Ah, so exciting. So we are gonna go to our little book. And let's see what she has, because even though it's a traditional tarot, she's got it kind of bumped up for the light workers. So I'm just gonna read what she has. So this says here, light seer, self-realization and an understanding of a spiritual awakening, a redemption, knowing your motives and your heart to be true, a total transparency, a glorious un unveiling spirit a glorious unveiling spirit so this for me also too is like a jack-in-the-box card like you're just popping out you're popping out of your box and you're saying how can i give my gifts to this planet in a glorious way so this says um this is an opportunity to say hello i invite you to show up every day i invite you to have your soul shine in an unapologetic way so how many of us light workers kind of feel like we're hiding our light underneath a, a bushel? Sometimes we've had past experiences where if we shine, we got shut down or parents that weren't uh, present with us, weren't, weren't able to allow us to shine our lights. And this is the time where this card is saying, not only shine your light, but ascend and soar, ascend and soar. So for me, this means more creativity, more dancing, more singing, more playing, more writing. And uh, 
tonight, which is exciting, is I have a group of collective friends and we all started like an improv musical theater group. So that'll be my Tuesday evenings. So if you have a group of friends that you like to play with, where you can do something creative, so not only can you play, but then you can put a show up at the end of it, then you're actually sharing, you're circular sharing abundance, abundance of talent, abundance of funds, abundance of ideas, abundance of creativity. So that is today to inspire you to pop out of your own jack in the box. Now, here's the card that jumped out of the deck. Let's see what it is. Oh, the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. Woo -woo! The King of Pentacles. Okay, we're talking money card. Prosperity and money. So we're going to go. I turned right to the page. Pentacles. I turned right to the page. So the kings are in the back as it goes on to the right skin and then page, queen, page, knight, queen, king. So let's get to the king. Wow. It's like the last page in the book here. Light seer. I'm going to hold the card up while I read to you. Look at this beautiful card. Here we go. The overflowing material abundance, the overflowing material abundance is here right now. Just have patience and determination, a confidence, a warm leader providing for others, comfort, security, personal growth, goals reached, prosperity and success. Prosperity and success. All right, so how many of you want to pop out of your jack-in-the-box because there is no box and bring in absolute prosperity and abundance in all ways. That is the reading for today. This is Athena Starseed. If you really enjoyed this and you'd like a private reading, just hit the link below, go right to my website and you can get a hold of me directly and I would love to read your soul. Stay tuned. Blessings and light.